morning, everyone. This is Pastor Dan from Athens Christian Reformed Church again with morning devotions for this, the 33rd day of Lent, April the 3rd, 2020. Take a moment, if you can, to just uh, yeah, take a deep breath and focus and get rid of your distractions and hear the words of our invitation again. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Psalm 145 verses 17 to 18. Our Bible song today is from Psalm 28, verses 1 to 2 and 6 to 7. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands towards your most holy place. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. This is, as I said, the season of Lent. And so the psalms that we read during this season are often full of full of uh, lament and cries for mercy um, and and this is because this is our state without without Jesus standing in for us without Jesus bridging the gap between our sin and and God's righteous requirements. Paul thought, before he came to know Jesus, that he was a pretty good guy. But let's listen to what Philippians 3, verse 4b to 14 says. If others think they have reasons to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in regard to the law, a Pharisee, as for zeal, persecuting the church, as for righteousness based on the law, faultless. But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his suffer sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal. But I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heaven. In Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I don't know 
what popped into your mind during that reading. But for me, I think what popped out the most was pressing on toward the goal to win the prize. My father-in-law sends all of his email messages with that phrase, pressing on, at the bottom with his signature. And that is indeed what we have been called to do, not because we need to attain righteousness, but because we get to out of gratitude and love for the one who saved us. Let's pray. Father, I seek to know nothing but Jesus and him crucified. When I take the full measure of your love in the cross, any worth I might think I have pales in comparison in contrast to the beauty and wonder of knowing Jesus Christ. I find comfort in his wounds and life in his death, which renders me perfect forever. Amen. Now be blessed today. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Amen.